guys, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be recreating Doja Cat's Vogue makeup look, makeup tutorial. I don't really know what you would call it. I know that it is e-girl makeup and I've never done a look like that. I'm excited for it. It's different. It's definitely different than my normal style of makeup. So it's something I really wanted to try. So if you're excited to see how Doja Cat's e-girl makeup look turns out on me, then go ahead and keep watching. So it's a very cute, very trendy makeup look, I feel like. And I was just like, you know what? Let me give it a go. It's a little bit different than what I prefer, but we're gonna try it. So the first thing that she did was she color corrected and she used the Becca color corrector. I'm assuming this is the one that she used. I have two of them, but today I'm going to be using the light medium. She uses a brush to apply it and she does what seems like a lot underneath. I usually just go in with my fingers, but we are trying to do what she did. She goes in next with the beauty blender and she just taps it all over and around her eye. She puts it on the lid as well. The next thing she goes into is the Fenty foundation. I actually do not own that foundation. My skin is way too dry for that. So she, when she does it, she only puts like one to two pumps on her uh, sponge and kind of focuses here and just makes sure that she's covered. So I decided to go in with the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops because it's a very lightweight and it kind of seems like that's what she is focusing on is very lightweight. And she said she layers it to her liking and that's what I'm going to do. But it doesn't seem to be a very full coverage situation. So I'm not going to do full coverage. So she goes in with Fenty concealer, which I do have. And she just makes like a boat under her eye. That is the most jacked up boats I've ever seen in my whole entire existence. <laughs> so then she does like a little soul patch. And then she does right here, right here, and then down the nose. And then she just blends it out. I do like the Fenty concealer, but I don't know that I would have picked it for a lightweight coverage because this is like a full coverage foundation. She goes in with the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, which I do have. So I'm gonna tap some in here. And she focuses again on her cheeks. It seems to be a lot of cheek situation. She might be oily is what I'm assuming. And then so everywhere else she said is fine. She just focuses right here. And then she said she also focuses under her eye because she has fine lines, which me too, girl, me too. She goes in next with a, um, like a blending brush and she really focuses the powder on her under eye. So she like really almost as if like she bakes just her under eye because she puts quite a bit, which I've never done this, but this might be a hack. So then she takes a fluffy brush. I'm going to take this. And she just flicks, flicks, flicks any of the loose powder. So it definitely did make it lighter under here, but because I have dry skin, it also really stuck to my under eyes. So I would say if you have dry skin, I would not do like that little baking situation. So she takes like a flat foundation brush, almost like a, it looked like a kabuki brush. So I don't have like a little foundation brush like she does, but she takes like a dense brush and she really blends under her eye to get that extra powder away, which might actually help with what I just said, that it was sticking to my dry patches. It helped a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I actually might start doing that actually really blended that powder in too huh she used whatever was left and she just kind of swirled it around she said she's not baking it's like a mini bake so basically she's just setting so she goes in with her beauty blender which is what i'm doing she didn't do too too much and it didn't show how long so i'm assuming that she just kind of put it on and took it off so she talks about contouring with bronzer which is actually something that i've done for a very long time i've never been one to actually use contour because it just was not something i cared for so that's kind of exciting that she's doing that because i too do that so we're gonna go i'm going in with the fenty sun seeker is that what they're called the sun stalker and this is in private private island. I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the contour with the bronzer and then we'll see where else she placed it. And just make sure you're doing it up and not down. So she also goes under her lip. Oh, it creates like a shadow. Okay. So she did not go on her forehead. I did. 
Because I have to like, I have to bronze my forehead. I got a big forehead. She's got a tiny, perfect little forehead. She does something that I actually do not do. She does go down the nose, but she starts here in like the shadow of her eye, if that makes sense, like in here. And then she brings it down her nose, but she starts at her eye. So this one has it and this one doesn't. I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I don't hate that. I actually find that to be really pretty. Oh my God, I love that. This may be a new thing for me. We're going into the blush now, I believe. So she's using a NARS blush. This is the only NARS blush I have. She starts on the line of the bronzer, but then focuses on bringing it up, which you should for your blush. Because in the video she does say, if you smile and do it, it does bring your face down. So you wanna just focus on getting it higher than not down here. Okay, so the next thing she does, I'm not the biggest fan of, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it because <laughs> she did it. She starts packing it on her nose. This is definitely more of a younger crowd situation. Madison loves putting blush all over her nose. This is actually literally how you see me doing my makeup is how Madison, my daughter, does her makeup. So just keep that in mind. So <laughs> she puts the cold, the cold, she puts the blush on her nose. You're supposed to look cold. That is the situation. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put it on our lips. Like I already have redness naturally around my lips. So like I could have just not put foundation on is what I'm saying. And we'd have just been red. We'd all be red to red together. So we're putting a little bit on her eyelids too. She really, I mean, I love blush, but she really loves blush. Can you see it on my eyelids? Do you see it there? I definitely look sick and cold. She goes into her bronzer again after being done with it with a blending brush and she focuses the bronzer on the outer portion of her eye. Just putting a little bit and blending it out and up. So I guess this is her eyeshadow situation. So I am a big fan of using bronzer for a no makeup makeup look. I do that all the time just because it gives my eyes a little bit of color. So this is not something new to me, but usually when I do it, I will put it like all over the eye where she's just placing it on the outside. So that's where I'm placing it currently. So she has a liquid blush and the only liquid blush I have is like an orange. So I'm gonna go in with a cream blush. This is the Fenty Cream Blush and I'm gonna get some on my finger. We're gonna tap, tap, tap on our hands. So it's not too crazy. And then she just started tapping, <laughs> tapping it on her nose over top of the powder. So I decided to go in with my beauty blender because that's what works the best with that cream blush. She had a liquid one, so it's not as thick. So it's easier to maneuver with your finger where mine was not, so. So she's doing her brows, so I'm gonna do my brows. She said she does Spock brows. Uh, which I'm not really certain I know what that even means. I know who Spock is, but I guess she means like pointy. We're not gonna do that because that does not look good on me. So I'm just gonna hop off camera real quick and I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be right back. I did the best Spock brows um, we were getting. I hate my brows right now. I absolutely hate them. I try to make them skinny like hers, but these are about as skinny as they're getting. And like the front of hers are like really foofy looking. I can't get it to do that. So this is, this is what it is for my brows. So she puts powder over her brows, but like more than that. Like she puts a lot. No, She says that it's supposed to stop your eyebrows from looking oily. And I will say that does happen to me sometimes. I've just never thought about doing this. She takes a fan brush. I don't own a fan brush. I do not own a fan brush. So we're going in with it. I don't own a fan brush. So she flicks it off, flicks it over. We're going to get a different brush. And she starts going up and down like this, just blending it. <laughs> you can see my hairs because I try to make them so thin like hers. Uh, it, it does, it did it? Yes. It kind of, it's kind of a vibe. Like it really does make my brows look more natural. She goes in and does mascara next. So that's what we're going to do. I'm using the Maybelline Sky High. So I'm just layering it up pretty nicely. She went in with a liquid uh, highlighter. So I'm going in with the iconic London Illuminator. I don't have the Cover FX one, but this is very similar product. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. And so she went in on the tip of her nose and then right here. Tap it around, tap it, tap it, tap it. 
I do suggest tapping with like your ring finger or your pinky if you can just because it gives you like a lighter hand um, and the stuff dries fast <laughs> just like the cover effect stuff so you have to really get in there she took it and she just highlighted like the top part here so that's what I'm gonna do Usually I would take it down to my cheek area just because I like to have my cheeks looking a little bit more highlighted, but she just did like the top portion of it. Then she went in with the blush brush again to just kind of make that color look a little more pinky. She went in next with a little makeup remover on a, uh, I think it was a cotton pad, but I'm going in with my makeup eraser and she just erased the makeup from the inner part of her lips. She does have really red lips. She left it on the outside though. Then she goes in with the foundation brush and just blends that back out around it, leaving the center with no foundation. She decides to take it onto her Cupid's bow, the highlighter, so that's what we're gonna do. And she also puts a little on her chin. So she goes in with some blush and she works it on the top lip. It says it makes it look like you have a popsicle. It's going to make me look like I have fucking chapped lips. Oh god, just going in with eyeliner. So I have my mirror right here and I'm going to do the best I can. Oh my god, I hate winged liner. So I'm going in with the NYX Epic Wear. And she does a pretty big winged liner, which I do not tend to do. Simply because I don't like winged liner at one my eyes so mine might not be as big all right and this she takes it all the way to her inner corner and I know you guys are probably having the hardest time seeing what I'm doing but I've got to be really close to the mirror because my eyes are bad even with contacts they're just they're not good so she brings it all the way down which is what I'm doing because she talks about the wing liner and then she goes off camera and comes back and like this whole thing is lined so but I can see that she takes it all the way down that's actually not the worst I've ever seen it's not great now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get this eye to look like this eye I'll be right back this is about as good as it's getting also that if you guys have never used that eyeliner that is the worst eyeliner I have ever used in my entire life it was so thick and as I was pulling it it was like getting all over my lashes and then getting on my eye like my lashes are all clumped together now I freaking hate it that's what we got this is where we're at this is the liner that we're getting because I couldn't get it to do what I wanted it to do and it dang sure doesn't look like hers she also has a lot more lid space than I do okay so she's going back into the blush and she is working that into her crease. Okay, cool. She said she loves a blushy moment. Girl, we get it. We're covered. So I'm just going into the crease, like she said to the end, just bring it out. I hate this look, by the way. She looks so cute. <laughs> I look like I've been crying. So she puts her lashes on. I'm gonna go in with the biggest lashes I have, which are the Lunar Beauty, these are Nova. Yeah, the Nova lashes. They are big and beautiful. I don't hate the liner now that I can't see it. If you can't see it, you can't complain about it. <laughs> That's why I'm kind of glad she did super big lashes because you can't even see that liner. The next thing she goes into is the fake freckle situation. And I do have that, I got it from Madison because I bought it from Sephora in the wrong color. Uh, so this is gonna be a little bit light for me, but I do have the same stuff. This is the Frex XL, and we're just gonna put faux freckles all over our cheeks, and she put some on her forehead. I don't know that I'm gonna do that, but we'll see, let's see. Let's see. This is gonna turn out so bad. <laughs> just do crazy, like, whatever's, right? And then, so you tap it on there, and then you just, you're supposed to tap it everywhere else. This is not working for me. Okay. So she did go a little on her nose. So I'm gonna put some on my nose, just a tad. 
put a little on my nose. Mm. The next thing that she goes into, oddly enough, is uh, more eyeshadow, which I find strange because we've already done the liner and the lashes. She has a loose, like, duo pigment shadow. I don't have any of those, believe it or not. Uh, I probably should invest in some. So I'm gonna use, it is the Natasha Denona, what are these called? The Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Eyeshadows. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that and just place it where she placed the powder or the loose eyeshadow. Okay, so it looks like she's just putting it on her lid. So I'm gonna use a smaller brush because I've already put that liner on. So this is about to be the hardest freaking thing to do to not mess up the line. Why did we do this last? Okay, and I'm just gonna place just a little bit on there. I might even go as far as going in with my finger. I did that same like purpley greeny blue color though that she kind of put on her eye. All of this is kind of growing on me, which is super strange. Um, not the blusher on the mouth though. So she went in with a liquid lipstick and a deep mauve color. I'm not gonna do a liquid lipstick because I don't want it to dry because she just kind of lightly went in like this and then just patted it so it looked like almost as if you're not wearing a lipstick so then she goes in to do her hair but that is it for her makeup portion of the video I'm not obviously going to do my hair because my hair is done but this is the recreation of Doja Cat's Vogue e-girl whatever easy makeup look it's not for me it's not for me is all I'm saying. It's just not for me. It's not something I like. I don't like all the blush. I don't like all the freckles. Uh, the eye look actually turned out really, really nice, even with the jacked up liner. I just wish that she would have done it in a different order because I'm like, Ugh gonna mess up the liner and it's gonna get all the lashes so that was a little bit wonky I will say that this was a lot of fun to recreate and very different from a lot of stuff that I usually do so if you guys like this look or you don't like this look let me know your thoughts the freckles the blush what do you think about it all I hope you guys did enjoy the video though if you did make sure you give this video a big thumbs up for me make sure you are subscribed to my channel I upload new videos every single week and you don't want to miss out on those and I will see you guys on the next one Bye.